So we continue on with Mark chapter 1. I was starting at verse 35. Kai proi enuka lian. Uh, proi it means early, it's an adverb. Enuka is also an adverb. It's a neuter plural of enukos, meaning in the night, and probably so still dark. Um, lian, very much so. That emphasizes the previous word. And early, still, perhaps in the middle of the night, still dark, anastas, now that's an aorist participle from anhistami. So get standing up, getting up, early uh, in the middle of the night. He went out and he apalthen, he departed, he went exalthen, kai apalthen, he went out and departed into a desolate place. Here, eremos is being used as an adjective. Uh, eremos can mean a desert as a noun, feminine, or it can be used as, as an adjective, desolate, into a desolate place. Kake is crassus for kai eke. And that's the verb pros eukamai. Eukamai. This is the imperfect, it's a deponent middle verb, uh, and he began to pray there. You should try and always translate the imperfects as he began to or tried to. Kai kat e di oxen, and Simon, and Simon's the subject of the verb, and so it's singular, even though we get a second subject here. So Simon, kat e di oxe, well, went pursuing him, went chasing after him. This is from kata and dioko. So the verb is kata dioko. Dioko is I pursue. So went after him. And hoi met our two and those with him. So again, even though it's a plural subject, you get a singular verb, but that's fairly typical in Greek generally anyway. Kai huron. Now that, of course, is the aorist from Hurisco, I find. Uh, and they found him, historic present, and they say to him, Mark's got lots and lots of historic presents, more than any other gospel, in fact. Mark likes to use the historic present to give a sense of vividness to everything. So they found him and they, said, they say to him, Hoti recitative, Pantes, everyone is looking for you. And he says to them, historic present again, agomen, that's from ago, this is a hortatory subjunctive. So you lengthen the linking vowel, which would be agomen, we are leading. You lengthen it, make it subjunctive, it's a hortatory subjunctive. Let us, um, um, so let us lead or let, let, let us go, I think, in this context, let us go aloku elsewhere into the ekominas um, coma polis, into the surrounding or the neighbouring, the next, the ones that um, uh, are just next door is the sense of this. It is connected with echo in the middle, um, but it's best just to translate it as neighbouring or next. And, um, and it's, it's used in that sense in the Septuagint and in Classical Greek. I, into the neighbouring, um, th well, these are interesting, this, it's villages. It's a mixture between Komos or Kome, a village, and Polis, a city. So into the neighbouring towns, perhaps. Hina plus the subjunctive. So this will be in the subjunctive. This is an aorist subjunctive here. In order that also I might proclaim Eke there. Ace two toga exhale thin for for this reason I came out. And he went, participle proclaiming in their synagogues, in the whole of Galilee, and and was had to supply casting out demons. It's really after this main verb. He went out proclaiming and he went out casting out the demons. Kai Eketai, and um, now the subject is lepros, a leper. 
comes, historic present, to him, paracalone, beseeching him, and then in brackets, gonopetone, falling upon his knees. Gonu is knee, it's cognate with our word knee, and peto here is just falling down, so falling on his knees. Um, and saying to him, hoti recitative, aan plus subjunctive, if you wish, if you want to, do nasai, from dunamai, you are able to cleanse from katharisdo, with a zeta there, this is the infinitive, aorist infinitive, to cleanse me. Kai splank niste, is a wonderful word, from splank nisdo. Here it is to feel compassion for, literally to be moved in one's bowels, and so it's translated for to feel compassion. The, the stomach was the place where you felt emotions. So, um, uh, moved to compassion, ectanas, this is from ectano, to stretch, tano, to stretch out, and this is an aorist participle, having stretched out his hand, Hapes atop is from haptomai. And it takes a genitive. It's a deponent, oh, deponent middle verb, haptomai. Uh, it takes a genitive. So, um, hapes atop, aorist middle. He touched him. So, having stretched out his hand, he touched him and said to him, Fellow, I, I wish, because remember he said, If you want to, you can make me clean. And he says, I want to. Uh, Cather is stati, there's that aorist passive imperative, um, second person. So um, Cather is from Catharisdo, so be made clean, aorist passive imperative. Chi, and immediately there's the subject, hey, lepra, the leprosy, feminine abstract, the leprosy, apaelthen, went out from him. Kai ek katharisthe, aorist passive, and he was cleansed. Kai embrisaminos, now this is a very, very strong word, it's very rare. Um, it's a very odd word to use here, it's used in classical Greek of a snorting of a horse. Um, it turns up in the book, in the Septuagint also, it's in the um, book of Daniel, meaning to be very angry. So probably it, it denotes strong feelings, so you could translate it as to speak sternly. It's a uh, aorist participle. Having speak and spoken sternly to him, he immediately sent him away. He cast him out, literally, but just sent him off. Historic present, and he says to him, he said to him, horror, this is an imperative from horror -o to see. So it's sort of like, you look here, horror, so see that. Now, a pace, this is a subjunctive used in place of imperative, so a subjunctive for command here. Um, so this is almost beware or do not or see that you may you speak maiden nothing neuter maideni to nobody so speak it's subjunctive or imperative say nothing to nobody so do not say anything to anyone we'd say in english allah but hupage imperative depart daikson now that's from daiknumi You also get Daik Nuo in New Testament Greek from Daik Numi to show. This is the aorist imperative, second person, singular. So show, see out on yourself, to here to the priest. Kai pros enenke, this is from pros pharaoh. Remember the aorist of pharaoh is enenkon. And the stem of this then is enink. And so there you see it there, the enink stem. So, um, uh, so show yourself to the priest and bring 
to him, so make an offering, Peri to Katharismu, regarding your cleansing. Um, so, uh, so, so bring those, you have to understand those things. So bring those things and then, um, so you've got to understand Tauta or something here. And bring Tauta, those things which Moses, pros etaxen, gave orders or gave command regarding your cleansing. So, um, in, or in respect of your cleansing. So that's a bit difficult, that bit there. So depart, show yourself to the priest, and make offerings regarding your cleansing of those things understood which Moses commanded as uh, some evidence to them, as a piece of evidence to them. Hode, but he going out, ex atop, this is from Archimai. That's from Archimai. He began to proclaim, this is adverbial, muchly, <laughs> um, a lot. You could say proclaim many things, but it's probably, pola is often new to plural, it's used adverbially. He, he began to, to proclaim greatly, kai dia midzan ton logon. This is a, a very late Greek word. Uh, it's not in the Septuagint, dear famizda. It's to spread a report around. Um, so, and he reported the matter, the story, the word. Hosti plus infinitive with the result that. Now, this is hosti plus infinitive with the result that out on, that's Jesus, he, make it he, no longer, using may because it's after with an infinitive, so that he was no longer able, s elthane, to enter into the city, Phaneros openly, but he was in literally in desolate places. Is that adjectival use of eremos, and um, they were coming. This is from Urkami. They were coming to him, Pantothen, from everywhere. And that's the end of chapter one.